we are not open. So why are you back again? Leave us alone. What is wrong with you? Have you not got burglars and criminals and rapists and paedophiles to catch? Speaker, we've made the case against the regulations in this House and we've lost all the votes, and that's democracy. But liberal Western democracy is more than ruled by the majority. It certainly includes freedom of association, freedom of expression, freedom to worship. And one of the most worrying aspects of our response to coronavirus has been the way that people have simply shrugged as these freedoms have been dispensed with and the government has armed itself with all the coercive powers of the state to tell us who we may meet, when we will meet them, where we may meet them, what we must wear. Freedom of protest has been dispensed with as has freedom of worship and isn't it interesting the way that subsidiaries of the totalitarian state in their eagerness seek to exceed even that which has been proscribed and prescribed. I've received representations from clinicians who have been threatened that their jobs will be taken from them because they have publicly expressed their doubts about the wisdom of the policy or indeed their doubts about the misuse or the concealment of data. We have that extraordinary scene of a nurse being charged with assault for seeking to liberate her mother from a care home. Could this have happened in our country? And then we saw those students seeking to effect a great escape from the Stalag Luft three that their university had imposed upon them. And as these enormities occur, instead of the expected rising chorus of protest, on the contrary, we're told by the pollsters that actually the British people thirst for even greater restraints on their liberty. I am appalled, absolutely appalled. These liberties, as we heard in the debate earlier this afternoon, were bought at an extraordinarily high price. So now, as we move into the vaccinated sunny uplands of release and freedom, there is a danger that the state has learnt a powerful lesson over the last few months. Namely, that the British people don't worry too much about their liberties and that they can be dispensed with conveniently when need arises. I hope 
that this house will wake up to that danger and seek a remedy.